We just finished up wheat harvest. Why is the 9500 out? More specifically, what the heck are we doing with the 9500? Well, we're up here on a field that we like to call the Reinhardt Hill. And this is just kind of a funky little 16 acre field that in all honesty could probably go back to grass and we wouldn't really miss it. It's a field that's kind of so out of the way, we can't even get the S670 up here. Getting it up through the pasture is just pretty much impossible. But a couple things this field's good for is experimenting and growing some seed that you'd like to save for later. What we're doing first is we're going to save some oat seed. This spring we planted some oats, did some small scale experiments in a couple of little patches, kind of where we had the water tanks. And I like some of the initial results. So we're going to save a little more and kind of make the experiments a little bit bigger next year. It was really nice just kind of breaking up that area where we had the tanks, where the cows were kind of tromping and everything and having kind of a living root, helping wake that, that soil back up again. So we're gonna try it a little bit bigger and also put some in some of the Milo stalks, kind of like we do the triticale after corn, just try to have some sort of cover, living root, et cetera, et cetera. Now the fun part is just getting this old beast set so she can, you know, get everything threshed and somewhat clean. Something you can say about your farm equipment that you can't say about your wife. I messed with the rear end. Now it should work. <laughs> well, there we go. That's the start. Although I think we got as many grasshoppers in there as we do oats. Some things never change. That 925 for some reason is notorious for pushing over one row's worth of crop. Never could get that fixed. Don't know, we replaced the snout, sickle's fine. Not quite sure why it does that, but that's something it's done for like the last 20 years. Well, now that I got that set, dad's off and running. He's gonna cut these oats first. We've got a little green gravity wagon that we're gonna dump those in and kind of save them, clean them, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Then after he's done with the oats, we're gonna switch over to our triticale. Got probably, I don't know, 10 acres or so of some triticale up here that we're gonna try to cut, clean, and save some, save some for our own personal use. And I'm sure there's gonna be somebody in the comment section that's gonna tell me that, you know, I can't cut triticale with a walker machine because they're best friends, uncles, former roommates, third cousin, twice removed. He tried to cut some once with a 7720 and it didn't work. Well, hate to bust your bubble, it's not the first time we've done this. You can do it, especially in a little bit thinner triticale like this is. That 9500 may be old. You know, her best days are definitely behind her, but she's still a green eating machine and she gets to this triticale and does a pretty decent job with it. Now I'm sure there's probably somebody wondering, you seriously keep an old machine just because you have a field of triticale you'd like to cut? Yeah, yeah we do. There's a couple reasons. First off, as I said earlier, this field is a bear cat to get up to. Like you gotta come off the road way out there, drive all the way through the pasture and then come all the way up here through some paths that are not exactly friendly to anything with duels. And second off, I don't want our S670 contaminated with triticale seed. And yes, I said contaminated. As much as I love triticale, rye, as soon as you run it through a combine, you're gonna find it all the time. There's no way to get a combine cleaned out well enough to ensure that you don't cough out a bunch of that seed in some ground that's gonna be going to wheat. So you may be asking yourself, well, how do you know? Well, in the words of farmer's insurance, I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. Family member who we used to farm with, took our 9770 and went and harvested a crap load of rye with it when his gleaner that he was using to harvest rye broke down. Yes, there's a good gleaner joke to be made there. T 
Tony Reed, I'm looking at you. It's too hot out here for me to come up with one. So after the farm split, we decided, you know what? The 9500, we're not really gonna use it for anything else. She's old, she's tired. Like I said before, her best years are definitely behind her. She's a good old machine, love her to death. It's probably one of the best cleaning walker machines I've ever seen, but she's getting a little wore out. We've, she has covered a lot of acres. She's on her second or third engine, I can't remember which. She's, she's put in her time and then some. So most of the time she just kind of sits in the corner, doesn't really do a whole lot until it's time to come out and do this. After we get everything cut, the oats, like I said, are going into that green gravity wagon. The Triticale is gonna go on Holly, our uh, old 76 tandem. And we've got a seed cleaner, actually. He's a really good wheat seed cleaner, but he also does cover crop stuff as well. He has one machine for wheat and one machine for you know, everything else. So we're gonna give him a call. He's gonna come get these oats cleaned up, get the Triticale cleaned up, and we'll have some pretty good seed, hopefully, come fall or early spring, you know, depending on which thing. And hopefully save a little money. Not the cleanest sample ever, but that's why God invented sea cleaners. The only bummer about the 9500 is that the AC doesn't work. Check the pressures. That's fine. It's got, you know, refrigerant in it. I'm guessing there's a switch or a fuse or mice chewed through a wire or something. So it's 102 heat index outside. So you could just about imagine how nice it is inside the cab. Yeah. Got straw and chaff, oh, dust everywhere. That was worth it though. That was a pretty decent shot. That's gonna leave Dad be. He'll get this all taken care of and then I'm gonna go home and take a shower. Now, if you don't mind, please like, share, subscribe, bell notification, you know, all the buttons, all the things, please do all of those to help the algorithm find me. Hope to see you next time. And as always, thanks for stopping by.